just circling. And away we go. It is the nightcap brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken right here on BearcatJournal.com. Uh, sorry if there was a little audio in there. The, the Aaron's, Aaron's computer and internet are, are still being a little, being a little Athens. <laughs> As always, visit www.galacticfriedchicken.com. Download the app for Android, iPhone, everything Galactic. Get down to Dayton, Kentucky. Come to pump it up. Save yourself 15%. Or go to the app and they will deliver right to your front door pretty much anywhere inside the 275 loop. All right. That's about the best way to sum it up. Yeah, it's very Athens of you. We, no we were actually reason. in the we were we were in the pre-show and he just disappeared. Poof. <laughs> and then he came back and apparently his computer didn't believe he had an internet connection. Me and you had to verify it. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure this works? Please, please check, sir. Sorry about the BCJ pod. Uh, the the big fella Tiger acting weird tonight. Uh, I think he's okay. They think he probably like ate something or a stupid mushroom or something stupid out on on his walk, and um, he's acting like he's had hallucinogens. So. Uh, <laughs> I didn't give him any this time, so <laughs> he's all right. Kels, he's down here. Yeah, Kels. Hey, <laughs> what what is growing in your room? <laughs> your food that you don't take to the garbage. Jesus, but he's doing okay. So hopefully, hopefully that was just a a false alarm. Uh, but let's uh, let's get to it. We got a couple things to hit on today. And then uh, we'll be here tomorrow for the BCJ pod. It's going to be late. Um, there's a, there's another TBT open gym at 7.15 tomorrow night. I'm going to go to that. So we should be good to go for the BCJ pod around 9, which means Dave should probably be nice and uh, nice and lubricated from Club Canopy with the swim-up bar. You think he's going to go live from the swim-up bar? Like, do you think that's the play? If his if his Wi Fi works, who knows? Yeah. He's 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 a wild card when he's on vacation. He is a wild. I mean, he's a wild card always in general. A, a vacation makes it. Yeah, it's it's like you took the deck and you added all the jokers. <laughs> the extra you took jokers from jokers. a couple de- decks and we're like, we'll just throw those in there. So uh, stay tuned for that tomorrow night. Uh, that should be fun as well. But um, let's get rolling. Uh, news of the day: the Dayton game is official. So uh, December sixteenth, which means on back-to-back weekends, you'll have UC Xavier at Centos and then UC Dayton uh, at US Bank Arena. Um, press conference with Anthony Grant and, and Wes Miller. Not a lot really there. The third, <laughs> third longest. Uh, matchup for Cincinnati Each school uh, yeah. for, for Dayton too for both schools okay. like their third longest rivalry in program history whatever however you want to do it um I, like I love the game the, I love that West didn't know Dayton was that close yeah. still he had no idea <laughs> you look at him have you been recruiting the area no not really I've just been at the big stuff swinging right. at five stars and five right. stars. Do they have five stars in Dayton? If they did, I would I would know Dayton. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I like it. It's a good it's a good non conference game. I know people are upset that it's at the Heritage Bank Arena. Uh, that, as I have said since the minute it was mentioned, the reason it's there is so that an outside company can promote the game. And when you have an outside company doing that then you can introduce NIL opportunities for players on both teams. And you split it 50-50, and everybody walks away happy. Uh, The players on each team get paid, and it's uh, it's what should be, I think Torvac has um, 71, uh, so it should be neutral site, a good, you know, quad two game, uh, unless Dayton, you know, surprises and jumps up to quad one. But uh, I, I don't see any. I don't really see any negatives from it. Well, stay off of Twitter then, because plenty of people think that the only reason it's being held at Heritage Bank Arena has to do with a former coach. 
however. Yeah, they have no idea what they're talking well, about. Well, we, we talked about it also, the fact that there's nowhere that you could really host it in Dayton outside of the Nutter Center. So, right. And there's certainly nowhere in between. What do you get? Mason High School? Like, you, look, is it that bad that you get to go downtown for a night and hang out at the Holy Grail? By the way, it's it's a 10 minute drive from campus, if that. Even right. if you get stuck at all the lights. They're not they're not moving all the games down there. They're moving one game down there uh so that, that the guys can get a nice paycheck out of it. It's also also a better drive than northern Kentucky. For you. For well, not for, for you. For everyone. Not for me. You're not everyone. I'm at NKU. I'm there. Just saying. <laughs> um I don't, and, and they should be decent. And Anthony Grant runs a good program. Anthony Grant's a good coach. Like, I, I I don't get the angst. I just don't, like, do we really have to be pissed off about everything? Yes. But I, 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 people are pissed off today because somebody put out a picture of a UC, like, polo, and they didn't like how the logos were aligned. I mean, I didn't... I didn't. I didn't. I don't love when the C is black and the the line underneath is white. But then don't buy it. I didn't. Right. But exactly. So I also yeah. I also just kept scrolling like I normally right. do when right. I see something I don't like. I just keep yeah, scrolling. Just, you don't have to bitch about everything. You're like you really don't. It, it it doesn't. It doesn't make your day better. It makes you angry. It makes you like. I don't. I got enough things to stress me out throughout the day. I don't. I don't need that. <laughs> You and me both. Notice I really don't argue with people anymore. I'm over. Like, I've moved past that phase of my life. I just, it doesn't, I, I mess with people every now and again because I like to do that. But it lasts for like 10 minutes now instead of I'll, five hours. I'll hold my judgment until the season starts. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Somebody will get out of my skin eventually. <laughs> Might be me. <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a one thousand percent chance of that. One thousand percent chance of that. In any case, I mean, people talk about the out of conference schedule and how it needs to get tougher. And you add a quad two game, like the only thing better that you get is a quad one. So yeah. if 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 the schedule wanted... needs to be tougher, okay, here you go. Well, not like that. <laughs> I, I, what else did you want, right? So I don't know. I, to me. This game doesn't move the needle much for me as far as I'm not super excited. I'm not like, oh, I can't wait. We're gonna get Dayton. But I'm oh, also not I'm also not annoyed game. by it either. Like it's it's whatever, right? It's it's vanilla ice cream. It's good because it's ice cream, but it's not flashy or yeah, it's not even it's not like the vanilla bean, like you know, there's some of right. those like Right, it's the, it's the beans that are it's like, the golden vanilla in a yeah. in a, in a <laughs> gallon the or the, the, the the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with it's a fine. handle. It's fine. It's so, good for a party. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You take it downtown. You serve all your friends. It's Might good. have to find some for this weekend for Brennick's birthday party. It's fine. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not getting bent out of shape about it. It's it's just it's a game, right? Like you wanted this team to take on some. Some decent teams. Here's a decent It's a neutral team. site game in the city of Cincinnati against right. a decent opponent. There you go. And and you, that's what you're it, complaining about. Life must be really good. You'll, really good. You'll be there before the seats are 48 years broken in and having seen Apparently, the the, hold on. Apparently, this is the big news out of this whole thing today. Is that uh, they they've called it the renovated Heritage Bank Arena, and apparently what that means is that they are replacing every seat in the house. Yeah, well, and if that's should, the case, they should be because those seats be, sucked. They should be replacing everything, like just I sc know scrape everything <sighs> down to the posts. No, the con yeah the concrete. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't leave the post. Maybe I want to. I want to see through the entire building, <laughs> and then start your renovations. But if they're if they're replacing this every seat in the place, that's oh. a good start because those are some of the worst. Like those seats are literally from the eighties. That also means that you're not going to be seeing any other type of renovation there 
for oh i don't know about another, two decades another another 20 years yeah i i when they i think it was one of the um one of the crosstown shootouts that was there i always get the game super early i was there like two hours before tip off and they would have us the media up in like the second deck like that's where we like they would put tables over a row of seats with like uh zip ties that we would work on and sit in a row of seats that just had zip tied tables in front of us and i was on my way up like a rat like like ran across the thing and kind of looked at me like the fuck are you doing here it's my house like turn your ass around get back outside I've got stuff to do. And I was like, sorry, bro. Like I turned around, I walked back down. It was left there by there later. Left there by the old Ringling Barnum and Bailey circus <laughs> yeah. that used to come through. Uh, I heard it only took them four thousand hot dog and beer nights for the cyclones to pay for this. So congratulations, <laughs> you did it. Eighty-four thousand RC colas had to be sold to get these seats. Deja blue, like uh, you, uh, you rocking a deja blue. It's the only place in the entire city you can find a deja blue. <laughs> Christ. Uh, Wes Miller talked afterwards. I didn't say a whole lot. You know, it kind of confirmed what he said here that they won't know about the waivers for Aziz and Jamil anytime soon. Uh, talked a little bit about Jizzle. Um, was asked about an open gym that he wasn't at. So that was, that was awkward. Something. Yeah, uh, talked about the uh, the the thing at Rucker Park. Um, yeah. and anything was, you took away from Wes? Uh, that was probably my biggest takeaway is just how impressed he's been with the way that Brett Yormark has handled the Big 12 yeah. and trying to expand the brand um, through different regions of the country. And also he even mentioned the world, as we've seen uh, what they're trying to do in Mexico and just trying to do what you can uh, as the – Everyone just talks Big Ten and SEC, and the Big 12 is certainly trying to elbow its way into the conversation. So um, I, it's cool that just Wes kind of put that into words, I guess, since we've all kind of been watching it. Yeah. Um, only other thing, really, uh, that we'll just touch on briefly tonight because I can't wait to talk about this tomorrow. I can't wait uh, for Dave to be unhinged talking yeah. about it. The only, the only concern I have is he, he's just over it. Like, he's so bored with it that he doesn't care anymore. Or that so he's possible. he's busy on vacation and doesn't even look into the details of what's actually going on. Because he's yeah, too busy I'm sure. it, well, running after. during the day. He's, he's busy running after a toddler around the pool. Yeah. But we'll try to make sure he's up to speed. So, uh, Colorado's chancellor... Uh, said that basically they expect information, like information tomorrow is coming uh, on the Pac-12 media deal from George Klyakov at uh, Pac-12 Media Days. You're a Game um, of Thrones guy, right? I did not watch Game of Thrones. I watched, okay. uh, you watched the, the House yeah. of Dragon. Yeah. Okay. So Game of Thrones, they always said winter is coming. And it took them seven seasons yeah. and yeah. over 100 episodes to get to, or, or not over 100, right. but, but yeah. damn near 100 yeah. episodes to get to the winter is here. Yeah. So yeah, th this just feels like winter is coming. Like you've been saying this for hundreds of thousands of years, waiting for this winter the, to get here. I think the college football Reddit page uh, said, "Day uh, Pac-12 for the 338th consecutive day, Pac-12 promises uh, update <laughs> on their media rights deal." I mean, that's that's how it feels, right? It's, 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 I, everyone's everyone's laughing at the Johns. Everyone's laughing at George. Like they, they I feel like are. An, Stuart Mandel's having everyone he can at the athletic write hit pieces about the Big 12. Uh, Nicole Auerbach's done it. Aussie, uh, Ari Wasserman's done it. And and Stuart Stu has proudly retweeted, at, like, with quote tweeted every one of the articles. Like, yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. Somebody at the athletic wrote another article about how the Big 12 can't be, can't be number three. I guess. That's what I don't like about journalism these days is there's a ton of people who are mouthpieces for certain organizations, well, certain I mean, present company included, certain, certain, <laughs> we, 
We put that You're name very open about it, right? <laughs> it's called Bearcat Journal, Chad. There's no we do not pretend there. to be anything else. You can't be Adrian Wojnarowski being a mouthpiece for the Blazers. And you know what we don't do? We don't grow up in a family raised by a family of fans from one particular school and then pretend like we didn't have any rooting affiliation with that school. Um, so yeah, like, it, you know, just be honest about it and, and, and say where you're coming from and it is what it is. It's just, I, I don't know. I miss, I miss journalism being actual journalism instead of. If you're going to say your national journalism, be national journalism. Don't be big 10 media. Don't be sec media. Don't be Pac-12 media trying to soften the blow of what came out yesterday. Um, what they say yesterday, it's a good thing that this has taken longer uh, because it has allowed more entities to come to the table. And then somebody made a joke last night, like, it's going to be Nickelodeon, isn't it? Like, how I they, saw they've that. done the NFL thing. Like, it's going to be... <laughs> the, the slime end zones. <laughs> pack, pack at night instead of Nick at night. It's going to be pack at night. <laughs> It's. Uh, I mean, I guess. I guess if you have one person interested, and it's now the CW, they're like, "Oh, we're doing sports now." Uh, you know, maybe maybe they're the ones at the table. Like now, you have one. That's yeah. you have one entity. Yeah. Which is more than you had yesterday. The 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 frog from the WB is gonna walk onto the stage at Pac-12 Media Days tomorrow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no, he did the hello, my baby, hello, my yeah. darling, hello, my <laughs> ragtime gal. I know. I I made fun of the Muppets with the frog because Kermit. Yeah. You know, not all jokes hit Aaron. We'll see you tomorrow night with Dave live from Club Canopy uh, for the BCJ Pod. Uh, We'll have some some little birdies, some open gym nuggets, and lots of conference uh, media day talk. Should be fun. We'll see you tomorrow. That's the nightcap brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken right here on BearcatJournal.com. See ya!